going to do that until we catch him. And then he's going to cry like a little baby before Mr. Presslag. When I tell him that there's been, I'm counting the times, 28 times when asshole of the year zung Mr. Quinn. 28 times, including just a second ago. And he's so fucking stupid, excuse my French, that he uses the same tone of voice every day of the week. Now, how dumb is that? As dumb as he is. And that's as dumb as shit. So I am talking to you, Claudius. You are not talking to me. Period. And when you want to switch on the cooperation, you're going to. And right now, you have just switched on. This son of a bitch is not even letting me say a word. So switch that switch off and go on to the other switch. Or I'll have you in summer school by the end of the period. You need to look at me when you're cooperating. There we go. You don't need to move the body. You need to look at me. You don't need to move the body. You're still moving the body. So you're, you're, you're flaunting it now? Yeah, you are. Moving the head is moving the body, Claudius. Yo, there's no conversation. It's not going to be two-way. If it's a two-way, you're out of here, and you're in the summer school. If it's, a, if, it's, if it's more confrontation, you're out of here. Mr. Sis, close the back door. Mr. Torres, I'm all set to toss your ass out because you think this is nothing but funny. I think this is nothing but frustrating. So the conversation, Mr. Finch, right now, is Mr. Fincher is ending right now because this is obviously doing you not a damn bit of good. But you know, if mom calls me and she says, can't we possibly accommodate so that this guy is brought into your class? The answer is going to be no. And the answer is going to be no because I'm going to go all the way back to what Bob wanted you to do months ago. Apologize. You have yet to do that. And I've said this now three times, and you're going to walk in today and apologize? Hell no. So continue to give me confrontation in the slightest way, and I'm going to have you in summer school. I have now said my piece. This is not your time to go your way. This is not a two-way conversation. I was starting out this class trying to give you advice, but before I could even do that, it became, I'm going to go into confrontational mode. No, we're not going to do that anymore with me, period. That's true, folks. As stupid as this idiot is who keeps on, you know, zinging me as if I'm really offended, <laughs> same tone of voice, this is the 28th time. Ultimately, someone will walk into him, run into him, a teacher will walk into him and say, what the hell were you doing? Oh, I know what you were doing. Let's see what Mr. Quinn might have to say about that. And then the son of a bitch is caught. But he's so chicken shit, he zings and runs, you know, like a little baby. Zings and runs. Well, one of these days, he's not going to run quite quickly enough. And somebody's going to get it. Opportunistic and catch him. And then, of course, we'll hear, you know, the song and dance about the bottom of the dad about how sorry your little boy is. Yeah, right, sure. Brother Conrad had us all together yesterday, you know, Brother Conrad saying, boy, our enrollment is really slipping, folks. So, out of the same conversation, he says, and you know, when we start giving people money next year, we're going to insist that they give something back to the building. What's it going to be, brother? Minimal cooperation? Anytime I can get away with shit, I will. Or is it going to be something a little bit higher than that, brother? Well, according to brother, it's going to be, if we give you a ton of change to attend St. Patrick's, you're going to have to give us a ton of cooperation back. Should be interesting to see how that goes next year. Very interesting. As I said, I typically give a thousand bucks to, stu to students here, whose names I never know, unfortunately, to help them through St. Patrick's each year. <clears throat> if only I could take a look at the people who are getting my thousand bucks, and I could direct my thousand bucks to this guy, this guy, this guy, never this guy. You got to be kidding, this guy, this guy, no way, this guy, no way, this guy, fine. I'd love it. I'd give $5,000 a year if I could put it where I wanted it to go and not into the hands of a chump who's screwing us 
and laughing all the way to his senior prom that costs him 200 bucks, but he can't even pay his tuition. So this started off as a gentle, gentlemanly warning to one person in class. He's not taking warnings. He's going to be confrontational, even if it's said in the most polite of terms. OK, then we step back from that immaturity and say, if it happens and he's bossed in the summer school, he's bossed in the summer school. And I'll be damned if anybody's going to convince me that I should change my mind. So forewarned is forearmed, Mr. Fincher. Shame on Mr. Quinn for even making the attempt to give me a warning. I should have let, just, I should have let your ass just back right into the fire. I am not looking for a comment, nor am I expecting a comment, nor am I going to even permit a comment. So get your damn hand out of my face before I throw you out of here for good. This is not a democracy, Fincher. A lot of people run under the impression school rooms are democratic. They're not democratic. They're not set up to be democratic. I vote to have you as my students. You vote to have me as your, it's not democratic at all. So I now have my say? No, not necessarily in all situations. Sorry about that, but that's the way it goes. And I'm always going to have the opportunity to say what's on my mind? Says who? What job permits you that opportunity? What boss is going to give you that opportunity of letting him know how you feel about him? That doesn't happen hardly at all in the job center. I don't like my boss, and I'm really going to tell him. Okay, you go right ahead. And the next day, you'll be shopping for a new job. And don't think that you don't know that that's reality. <clears throat> you don't have the blackboard taken care of. And maybe like Mr. Torres, you've been too interested in the little drama that went on and not business. Here's your score. It's 30 out of a possible 15. 